So today's little shape point tip is all about creating views and if you can hear a lot of noise it's because I'm at a conference in Maine. How exciting is that? So we're going to be looking at uh, SharePoint of course and we're going to be looking at creating views and libraries. So I'm just going to go to site contents and uh, then in site contents we'll, uh, we'll go firstly to one of my document libraries. Now of course views works best when uh, we're using metadata, right? So in this library you'll see that I've got various columns in here, department, document, process and products. And what I'm going to do is uh, on this little all documents tab, I can actually drop down and see the different views that I've created. So um, I'm going to go to the library settings on this library. So let's go to library settings. And then I'm going to go scroll down all the way down to the library settings page at the bottom and I'm going to click on create view. So the views that I can create um, will be based on the metadata that I have. So I can create filtered views or I can create uh, grouped views, etc. So let's first try and I'm going to just start from an existing view. I'm going to use all documents. And uh, we're going to create a group view first. I'm just going to call it group view for the sake of uh, using this. This is when I can say whether it must be a default view or a personal view, a public view. This is where I can decide which um, of the columns I want to show, the sorting of the columns as well, and um, also where I can set up filters. So let's go to group by, and I'm going to say I want to group it by department. And then I want to group it by document type, okay? I normally give very descriptive views, so I would go department, um, then document um, type, so that I know what the views are um, going to be when I actually look at the view. I normally also go and look at the item limit, because I don't want to just show 100, 30 items at a time, I want to show at least 100. And then um, something else as well is that if I group by, by certain metadata columns, I don't have to display the columns as well. So I'm going to take out department and document because I don't have to display it as well. And I'm going to say OK. So let's take a look and see what, uh, what that does. So there we go. Here you can see that I've got a grouped um, view now, which looks very similar to folders, of course. And uh, I can then collapse and expand these specific groups. The next one I want to look at is a filtered view. So um, to create a filtered view, of course, I'd need to have the specific uh, naming I want to filter it by. Now, in SharePoint at the moment, um, in the modern sites, what they've brought in, which is pretty cool, is that you can very easily create a view for yourself by filtering first. So if I had to go to uh, Department and I put a filter in for... Um, marketing for example I could very easily once that's filtered and I then um, click on the drop-down I could actually um, save the view straight from here so that's a very easy way to very quickly create a view that's uh, filtered by something specific or grouped by it I want to create another view that's uh, of course um, filtered so let's go back to library settings And we'll go back to create view at the bottom of the page. I'm just keeping my eye, of course, on the video timer because I don't have my extra screens yet. And I'm going to copy it from the All Documents view. And uh, I'm going to just call this uh, Marketing um, and it'll only show policies, for example. So perhaps I only want a view that shows marketing and only shows policies. I can then go to Filter and say, I want to filter only show items only show items. I can then put a filter in and say that uh, the department must be equal to uh, marketing. This has got to be exact, of course, uh, so I can't type marketing because it won't find it. And I can say um, and or. So in this case, I'll have to go and the document type is equal to policies. So let's do that and see if this actually works. Again, look at the item limit. I always want to show at least 100 items. 30 is definitely not enough for me. And there you go. Marketing with policies showing a fault of view. So very easy to create a view. I'll uh, definitely catch up with you soon and we can look at the other types of functions we have in our views.